Hi, it's Dave here, Mega Points Controllers. What I want to do in this video is just go over the basics of wiring up one of our Mimic panels. If you've seen me at an exhibition recently, you'll have seen me showing this panel off. And what I want to do is just go over the basics of how you attach one of the buttons and the LEDs to a single point. Now, in terms of wiring the Mimic panel to the multi-panel processor, I'll cover that in another video. This is just a quick start to get you going. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to use this Diddy Little panel as a starting point and I'll get this all working for you. Now if we're making the panels for you, then you'll have the baseboard element and the plastic face here which fits on top. The way we've designed this panel, nothing ever attaches to this face here, so you can remove it at any time and wipe it down if it gets a bit dusty. So let's dig out my fascia here. So what I want to do, I'll just go over the basics of how this goes together. If you've seen our little buttons, and you're free to use your own, we can incorporate them into the design. My buttons, I use a tiny um, surface mount printed circuit board with a button that's about two millimeters diameter. This means that when it's attached to the panel, it fits within the road that we've painted and it doesn't dominate the entire panel. So it's still a tactile button and you can press it or you can rock it, but it's not a massive thing with a, a huge hex nut or anything. Obviously, depending on the size of panel you have, uh, you'll use buttons that are appropriate for it. So if I start with this button on the right side, you can see we've drawn a road on it as well to match this design. We've made it rather easy. Here's the button. Aim for the square hole we've prepared and two screws will secure that in. But before we do that, I'll just talk about how this is wired. So with the button, you'll notice there are one, two, three, four connectors on it and they go through both sides. Now, the top two are connected together and the bottom two are connected together. So you can use either side and any one as the switched and the ground, it doesn't matter. But if you're putting lots of buttons in a panel, you might want to link all of one side around to make yourself a common ground. And I'll demonstrate that in a later video. When you unpack the buttons or when you take them out of the box, you'll see they're all together in a, a biscuit form here. And all you do is you snap it with your fingers and reveal each button. What I've done on these two is I've just soldered a pair of cables to each. So I can snap that and there's my button ready for installation. In the button pack, there's a pair of six millimeter screws. If you can see it here. If you use an appropriately sized screwdriver, you'll be able to just start them into the holes and they'll stay in place until you're ready to attach it. This will just save you a bit of time. So what I'm going okay. to do now is attach the button to the hole. Now, instead of struggling on the bench because it will stick out, you can use the box if you've had a box made by us for your mimic panel. Drop this onto the ledge and feed the screws in. On the button, there's two holes. There's a hole here and a hole here. And this is where the mounting screws go. So I'll screw this one in like so. Just nip it up and let's pick the second screw up. And I'll try and do this so you can see on the camera. Where's the screw in? And here I am installed. And here's my button ready for use, attached, and you can see it's protruding through the square hole here. Pretty straightforward so far. It's secure, and if you ever need to replace it or whatever, two screws out and you're done. The holes we fitted here are three millimeter LEDs. So if I dig out a three millimeter LED, here's a green one. It's designed to be an interference fit. So push it in firmly and you're done. Now. Some people ask me how permanent this is. On my panel, I've done nothing more than push it in and they've never moved and never come out. If you want to 
make it more permanent, may I suggest a drop of hot glue? You could touch it with one drop of thin super glue, but I think once you've done that, it's permanent. And you can see here that the, the LED is slightly recessed. The idea isn't to have it sticking out and we want it in there so it's protected. What I did for the LEDs on my panel, because I'm wiring a pair here as per uh, to indicate the direction. So what I've done, I've put two LEDs on a piece of cable here to make it easier to hook up later. So if I take the first LED and push it into the hole, second LED in, I'm now installed. So if I run that cable through the back, out of the way, I'm now ready with this particular set of points to wire it to my multi-panel. What I'm going to do is connect the other end. In your case, you'll be attaching to the supplied cables. Cable, let's attach this, cable one in and cable two. And we've got some power and you can see there's a, a route indicated here. Press the button and it toggles to the next. Press it back and it goes back. So you would simply repeat this for all of the points you have. And when you've finished, drop on the fascia. Now our fascia, the LED holes do not go through. So we're using the surface because we've um, etched it. We're using the surface to diffuse the light. The idea here is that we are indicating, not illuminating. And I'll put the securing lug on, which you would put a drop of glue on and you're in. And that is how to wire up a set of points on one of our laser cut panels. Look out for our new videos on mimic panel construction and wiring which will be coming over the next month or so. Thank you very much for watching.